Hey everybody, it's Julie for EllenHudson.com. Today I'm going to be doing some two-step stamping using the Everyday Doodle Set, which has outline images and solid filler images. And the great thing about it is you can use them um, together, or you can use just the outline images if you want to and color them in a different way. But I love two-step stamping. It's one of my all-time favorite ways to do things because I've got the best of both worlds. Now I've grabbed some dies that I've already die cut using the shipping tag dies, which is awesome because it cuts four tags at one time. And I grabbed the flower stamp and the coordinating flower die so that I could position it and know, you know, I make sure I had the flower die going in the right direction because I'm not stamping first. So now I'm going to grab the leaves and get those positioned. And I didn't actually want to have the blade of the leaves cross over the edge of the negative where that flower is. I wanted to have it really close. So I'm just double checking and I'll do a little bit of shifting and repositioning just to make sure it's where I want it. And then I'll go ahead and send that through my die cutting machine. And when I come back, you'll see that I've got two openings here. Um, one actually bleeds off the edge of the tag and the other one does not. And they don't cross over each other. So now I'm going to take this tag. I've got an A2 card already mounted into my Misty platform and I've got the tag anchored in place temporarily with some washi tape. I dropped the flower back into that negative space and then closed the lid so that I could ink up and get it stamped right there within that negative opening. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the leaves. They were too close together for me to mount both stamps and stamp them at one time. So I had to clean off the flower and swap in the leaves and do the same thing all over again. So I'm stamping through that negative space on the tag onto my card front. So I'm going to set that aside for a minute and then I'm going to pull the card away from the edges there of the Misty. And now I'm going to ink up these same images with the Hero Arts uh, Soft Granite Shadow Ink. Now, this is like the perfect color of gray ink. It's my go-to when it comes to gray. It's just the perfect shade, the perfect intensity. It's awesome. So now I've stamped leaves and flowers randomly on my card front and I'm going to grab some melon ice and the solid filler leaves and start filling in. And I always like to stamp my outline images first and then my filler images when I'm doing two-step stamping. Now for this flower, uh, Bellini was too intense for what I wanted. So I'm just stamping off and getting a second generation impression. I'm just going to fill in all those flowers with a second generation uh, impression of that Bellini ink. And then for the one that's highlighted there in the black ink, I'm actually going to use Tutti Frutti Full Intensity and Green Tea for the leaves because I really want these particular images right here to really pop off the card front and be highlighted with the tag. Now I've already put some twine and tied it into a bow at the top of the tag and I put foam mounting tape all over. I wallpapered it with foam mounting tape. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to position that into place there on my card front. And I always leave some handles there for tape so I can kind of uh, reposition if I need to without destroying the whole card if I need to lift that up and move it a little bit. And then I had a white embossed greeting from Everyday Punnies that I did onto some black cardstock and I just cut it into a little banner and mounted that as well. And then to add some Nouveau uh, drops there to embellish my card. They're wet, right? And so the strings of my twine there will flop down into that and ruin them. So I had to, to anchor those out of the way with some washi tape. And then I slapped that against my table so that those Nouveau drops would flatten out um, more like enamel drops. And I hope you got some good ideas for doing both two-step stamping and it's inset stamping. Thanks for watching.